So I'm tuning into the earth plane now, physicality, aware of my physical body, the first point of the elven star, and the word no. It's the old man vainly trying to reveal the mysteries. I have a turtle there, a sea turtle. Very slow, patient, long living, plodding. Now, if I move to the second plane, the astral plane, my mind gets involved. I have the image of the Jewish rabbi. And the, the fox is my power animal. And here I feel a, a sense of alertness and sharpness of mind. Ability to find solutions creatively to everything and anything that comes to me. It's fun and quick. Now when I start deepening into the heart, the plane of love, harmony and beauty, a third plane in Sufism, again things slow down. My power animal is the owl who can see at night time, to see through illusion. And um, in Sufism we speak of Sentimental, sentimentality being the enemy of love, and the, the owl sees through that which is sentimental to a deeper sense of what love really is. And in a sense, hunts for love. So, though it's soft and warm experience in the heart, it's also quite discerning. This is the position of the purging of the priesthood. This is the sense in which that which is false gold is cleansed. We want the, the real deal. Spiritual love has to be authentic to mean anything. I move into the, the fourth point of the element star and the fourth plane of consciousness. This is the heroic plane, the plane of confrontation and truth and authenticity, where my stag stands as a leader and yet has tremendous sensitivity and willingness to, to run if outgunned. And the mermaid is the image I have, and, and she speaks of a sense of creativity in, in a rather unique way, the access to the unconscious realms is easy and the challenge is to bring it in to something that can be made real and understood and it requires something of an assertive challenge to do that, to make my position known. And here's a position of strength and principle, honor, wisdom. And moving to the fifth plane, the dolphin. associated with the third degree of Aquarius, the deserter, one who, who cannot stay where it is inappropriate and no longer in keeping with principle, um, the absolute imperative of freedom. 
and playfulness, even though it's the energy of sacredness. It's kind of playful sacredness, a dance of spiritual joy. Now the sixth point where the rabbit is dressing up on parade, the aspiration to be a little higher, a little more, more so, more advanced, more progressive. And my unicorn is there encouraging me to to reach in towards Christ consciousness, to try and understand better what that is and how that can touch me. It's beyond questions of ego and pride and self-glorification. It's, it's the energy of universal service, humility. The seventh point is the centaur, and it fills me with awe. The flag that turns into the eagle and crows, I have a sense of having fundamentally changed my allegiances, and because this is the seventh position, it, it seems my allegiance to even the earth and humanity is going through transformation to become more eagle-like, overseeing everything from a very, very much higher cosmic perspective. And with the, the power and confidence of a centaur, I need to speak of this. And I leave the seventh point always to come back to the first point. And somehow the turtle is still there plodding on in a very simple way. That helps me feel grounded. <laughs> 